So if you don't know much about me, the first thing to know about me is I am terrified of spiders. Like, deathly afraid of spiders. Like, right, let's say in a hypothetical context, I was at the edge of a cliff. And on one edge of the cliff is the cliff. And on the other side is a spider with eight legs looking at me, preying on me, eyeing me like I'm some fool to toy with. I will be jumping off the cliff, thank you very much. I will not be walking past the spider. I will not walk over it. I will not walk around the spider. I will walk away from the spider, even if it means jumping off the cliff, which honestly can't be that bad because at least it'd be a quick drop to a few feet away from said spider. Thank God. So basically, it was Sunday, the 17th of December, and I am just chilling. It's like past midnight. The world is silent. Everyone is fast asleep. Not me. I'm reading my book because I have a terrible sleep schedule. I'm reading my book. It's like 12.30, 1 a.m. something. I'm reading. I'm loving the romance. I'm kicking my legs in glee as the two characters that I absolutely ship together are getting together and then having a drum of will they, won't they, and I'm buying every moment of it. When I see in my corner a dark flicker, and now I think to myself, what could that dark flicker be? It couldn't be light. My room is entirely like cream colored. If there was a flicker of light, it would not be black. There's nothing to shadow. So I was like, hmm. What is this odd specimen on my creamy wall? I look over and this odd specimen, I tell you, has eight hairy legs, a big body, and what I can only presume to be eight hours. It's a fucking spider. There's a fucking big spider on my wall. It's a huntsman spider though. Huntsman spiders I'm not okay with because they literally have the word hun in them. They're terrifying, horrific, evil. So I see the spider and I'm immediate like, fuck this. Fuck this shit. So I closed my book. No more happy giggling for me tonight. I set my book on my bedside table. I pull my sheet right over my head because if I'm covered by my sheet, the spider can't get me, right? And I just go to sleep because you know what? If, <clears throat> if I wake up, I'll just be like, oh, it was completely a fever dream. It never happened. It did happen. I have photographic evidence, but I can gaslight myself. I can say I photoshopped it because I actually did photoshop it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But anyway, I woke up and I was like, the spider's no longer on the wall. Hallelujah. I'm safe. I'm free. And then I thought to myself, Wait, but Thomas, you had the door shut the entire night. There's no scientific way that Spider could have left the room. The spider is still in your room. And now by this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be sleeping with the spider in my room. I'm going to have to show the spider some small level of respect. So I decided I'm going to name the spider Timothy because I just think Timothy is a very name. And I think the spider deserves a very name. I named the spider after the name Timothy. That's why I came up with Timothy. Not draw for Tim, just Timothy. No Tim, no Mithy, no Thee, just Timothy. So Timothy the spider, I haven't seen him, but I knew as I woke up, I was like, the spider is still here. So I packed up my shit up and left the room. I spent the entire day on the couch instead of on my bed, letting Timothy the spider rummage around my room, terrorizing my room. I was like on the couch thinking I was safe, but in my head, I knew I can never be safe again. Timothy the spider could be in my room right fucking now as I speak to you and I don't know. Like Timothy the spider could be fucking anywhere and I wouldn't know. 
So now Timothy the Spider lives like Roman Empire lives in a man's head. Timothy the Spider lives inside mine. Whether Timothy the Spider is in my room or not, all I can think about is Timothy the Spider. Timothy the Spider needs to start paying rent because Timothy the Spider is living rent free right now inside my head and I'm sort of broke. So it'd be really helpful. Now, I don't think Timothy the Spider would be in my room because there is no spider web. Thank fuck. Because let me just tell you, if there was a spider web in my bedroom, <laughs> I'd be burning that shit. I'd be taking my house off the ground and fucking throwing it away. I'd be walking to the dump with my house in my hands, just dropping it there. Like, no, not doing that. Not doing that. But no, oh my God, I'm fucking sweating. I've got sweat in my eye because it's so fucking hot. Anyway, well now you can't hear me. Uh, anyway, so Timothy the Spider. I'm also checking boxes because two days ago I had to start moving stuff because we're like moving houses or something. And anyway, so I'm moving boxes that I've never used for the past five years because they don't belong to me. They belong to my brother. So I don't know what they're doing yet. I'm just taking them. And as I take them off my shelf, I'm like, this is the shelf that Timothy the Spider was super close to. So I'm checking left, right, underneath, literally everywhere so that I could be prepared for Timothy if Timothy the Spider decided to jump out of me. Now, Timothy the Spider did not jump out of me. If Timothy the Spider did, I wouldn't be prepared. I wasn't wearing professional gear. I wasn't wearing a hazmat suit. I was literally barefooted. I was not prepared for a spider attack. So Timothy the Spider, if you're watching this, Thank you for not attacking me. Very much appreciated. That said, I don't know if Timothy the Spider is under my bed yet. I haven't checked. I'm too scared to check because I just feel like my bed is a wonderful place for spiders to live. And Timothy the Spider looks like he's probably your everyday ordinary spider. But the moral of the story is spiders are terrifying. And that goes to you as well, Timothy the Spider. I hope you know how much fear and terror you've rigged into my life the past week. I hope you know that my life has devolved into a state of fear, into a state of pure fear because of you, Timothy. You have haunted me, you have cursed me. And do you know what, Timothy the Spider? You didn't even save me from fucking bugs. I will never forgive you, Timothy the Spider. Never, ever will I forgive you for what you did to me on Sunday, the 17th of December. Never, ever, ever, ever forgive you. Fucks to be you right now, Timothy the Spider. I hope you feel really humiliated that this is on the fucking YouTube. <laughs> Toodles.